Hi, and welcome to the Virtual Review, Episode 8. I'm Grant. And I'm Adam. And this week we're going to discuss VR Cart's Sprint. We are, yes. Do you want to get us started, Adam? I'll get us started. So, it's a kart racer, surprise, surprise, uh, and a pretty average one at that. Straight it, in there, just cutting it straight down. Yeah, well, I was, I really wanted to like this game. Uh, it, it looks awesome, like, you know, watching watching a few videos before I downloaded it and, and forked out the $8 for it, um, it looks like a heap of fun. And looking back at the footage that we just captured, if you turn around and have a look, it looks great it looks like we're having a blast there's just a few little niggly problems that broke this game for me there's a whole bunch of problems yeah well <laughs> there are there are um so to start us off we paid eight dollars for yep. this game uh like we said it looks good the previews look good uh i used the single hand controller yeah and, and I use the Steel Series controller, much like an Xbox controller. I've I found using this controller really intuitive. Uh, I've got no complaints about the actual control system. I had a few problems, let my weapon go occasionally, but that might have been me getting used to this controller. But you just start uh, twisting your hand left yeah. and right to change to steer the wheel. You did of the mention cup. that. So that's that's kind of like the I used to have one of those Negcon Namco controls that you twist around. So it reminded me a little bit of that on the on the PS1. And, so, and by what I mean by how intuitive it was, I put this in my hand, started up, and thought, oh, I wonder how this is going to work. And it wasn't until I was halfway through the game that I realised you were already I doing. I was already it. doing. Yeah, it. that's yeah. interesting. I guess this was like second nature because playing driving games on Xbox and PlayStation, you know, right trigger to go, left thumbstick to steer, uh, B for, for turbos and, and A for shooting a weapon. So it was it was already there, it was already set up, ready to go, I didn't have to change anything. So that was that was easy enough. It's really a cheap Mario clone. It is, Mario yeah. Mario Kart clone, yeah. I should say. Yeah, that's right. So it, there's just a few little things they, they could have improved, I, I felt, to... to just make this worth a purchase, I thought. All right, so we got in there and we played single player. We went through the rookie, mid-level and pro, whatever they labeled. And yep. neither of us really picked a difference in any of those. I'm yeah, sure so in, in maybe got a tiny bit faster. The three cups, yeah, it was rookie, pro and one in the middle, intermediate or something like that. And I didn't feel like I was going any faster. I didn't really feel like the AI was any harder. No. Like, I felt like the AI was pretty tough from the start. And I was I was only just scraping through. But it didn't really feel like a challenge because it's a, it's a pretty slow game for a kart game. Like, the first level feels like a first level should because it's like, okay, you know, 50cc or whatever. But then by the time you're hitting pro, you're like, I'm still going the same speed. And you've got to put a fair bit of time into it to get to that point if you're going to go through the other levels and we both experienced motion sickness from our rookie run didn't we yeah so and the weird thing is tonight when we played two player didn't seem to get it as much but maybe we're starting to get used to it yeah that said i ran through the championship mode earlier today and no motion sickness yeah at all. okay so yeah i wonder if it's just that and an acclimatization to the game possibly i, I was finding i'd get through a championship and i'd have to turn the game off and i think a championship was roughly four races uh, and for some reason in single player mode, it seemed like it was just alternating between two tracks for all three championships. Yeah, And then I we agree. found extra tracks when we played against each other that we hadn't seen before. Yeah, the online multiplayer yeah. had a whole heap of so different tracks. Just a, a simple little missed opportunity there, really. Um, Unless there's more options that we've we missed. We might have and, missed, yeah, that's possible too. Uh, with the motion sickness, I sometimes wonder if that's <clears throat> partly to do with a lot of the other games that we've been playing uh you're only controlling with your head or you're only controlling with your controller sure i find i experience motion sickness sometimes when the two are in tandem i'm controlling like the cart with this but i can also look around yeah at the same time so you only have those three degrees of movement the the rotation axis axes with with looking around, but all your actual movement, so you're propelling yourself forward and going around corners, is with a control. And without that feeling of, of any kind of G-force feedback or haptic feedback of knowing where you are in the world, it's it's a little bit disorienting. 
especially when you're drifting around corners and it's a little bit unstable and just it's a bit of a weird feeling yeah it wants to behave like the drifting system in mario kart but it's really just a speed up sprint yeah um, yeah so the way that kind of works is you can only drift in this game when you've got turbo available you yes. can't drift without turbo and you've got all these turbos placed around the track at different intervals and it fills up a turbo meter so I couldn't really find if there was a solid strategy to use them. Like, there was no incentive to drift apart from the fact that it kind of felt cool. Well, this is. I wasn't getting a speed boost or anything from it, though. This is what I held off telling you before we played two player. <laughs> of course, in my single player run, I was holding out using turbo for the first two laps and letting it build up, letting it build ah. up. And then my final lap, I'd just sprint through. And how'd that work out for you? I was winning player? everything. I did, well, I got <laughs> annihilated. It finally happened. <laughs> We got the game that Adam has cleaned the floor with me on. Although, having said that, I can't really uh, take a fair victory here because... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to make it fair, but the online, it's kind of broken, isn't it? Oh, boy. Uh, so you were getting... Well, you'll see it on the playback. So we'll sync this playback that you can see behind you, and you'll see that... I get a green light every single time, about five seconds or a bit less before Somet yours. Sometimes before I've even come into the race. <laughs> so it seems that to be because you were the host, I guess you get first Possibly. run. But we don't know how this w would work with multiple players. We didn't get a game more than two games. people in, yes. Yeah, so. uh, Adam and I both tried at different times of the day throughout the week to find other people to play online i never came across anyone else online no i think it's a pretty uh common thing across the platform too like it is still a young platform it's not like a mature pc title where you've got thousands of different lobbies and servers and things like that you're really just looking for another peer to connect to and if every now and then someone's going on looking for a game but not staying on long enough to find someone else then there's never really going to be a game available. But you can organise a game like we did between two people. Yeah, and I was going to say, and that worked quite quick and it easy. Did. And as for menus go, the single player and the lobby both worked exceptionally yeah, well. Yeah, the presentation was really, really nice, especially that single player where you're in the caravan. You can look at the high scores on a little tablet that's underneath you. Um, you've got options over here on the right and credits running on a television. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there was some really nice touches in it's there. It's well presented. It's, it's a very good looking well game. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, but it's like average. There's nothing really popping. Or... The gameplay just doesn't pop. Um, there's no real racing to it, is no. what I found. There was no penalty for going off road, so I wasn't slowing down. Uh, I didn't and, feel like I was challenged going around corners or anything. I was just going top speed the whole way. And whoever gets in front pretty much just stays in front unless you get really unlucky or stuff up big time. Yeah, and there's some dynamics I couldn't quite work out. Sometimes you can bump into one another with no problems. Other times it will flip you out and you're gone. And... Yeah, the physics in both single and multiplayer when you're colliding is, is pretty bad. Um, yeah, I noticed a few times the AI would just run me off the road in single player and turn me around and there's just nothing you can do except for avoid those carts. No, and you, it's going to consume your time trying to get back into the race. Yeah, for sure. Weapons. Uh, we run through, there's a beehive to obscure your vision. You didn't like that one, did you? No, I just feel like in VR, I want to be immersed. And <laughs> Why, why obscure my vision into this little hole? You're immersed in, into a beehive. Isn't it no, exciting? It's, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. You're licking your lips trying to taste honey or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't into the beehive at all. Beehive, uh, there's a warp where, like a, that gives you portals. I had no idea what was happening with that warp. I think in the last race I was trying to slow down and the warp had actually sped me up again. I thought I'd hit something that I wasn't supposed to hit. It's not very clear what's you, happening. You go with through that. a blue portal and you pop out forward yeah. further down the track. Uh, you've also got a confusion bomb. For yeah, lack of that was interesting. Yeah, where your left turns right and your right turns left. Yep. Uh, there's a rocket to fire. Uh, you have mines and spike spikes strips to drop, yep. and that's what you're much like Mario Kart as well. I'm sorry to keep name dropping it, but yep. same deal. Once you're out front, you're only getting mines and, and, spikes. and spikes. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, pretty standard weapon fodder, really. Um, nothing there to really... I, I, I had the feeling the whole time that I, I just wanted to be holding that turbo button in, but you've got such a limited use of it. I felt like the game could have been more interesting if it was just at that speed all the time and maybe even that unstable all the time. Make yeah. it harder to stay on the track. That way you're actually racing. Yeah, and also you're not going to be hanging to... You're going to be more specific about when you do use that sprint yeah. speed up. Some of the details are really nice. You can look into the rear vision mirrors. You can see the other players lined up beside you. You can even duck your head round and, and actually and see, see your, your own in face the in the mirror. It's interesting they got those... Real minute details, like, very, very well done, haven't they? Like, all those really nice presentation things. It's like they did the polish and didn't build the game around it. Yeah, I totally agree. Mm. It's bizarre. It's got everything it needs to be a good game, but just somehow... Except for the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how, how frustrating. Uh, none of the tracks were particularly interesting in single player, but that's... I know maybe that's us not reading the menu correctly, but we did find other tracks that we did in, talk in about. In multiplayer, yeah, that's true. So there's there's no inclines or dips or anything like that. You're, you're on a flat plane. Uh, I guess there were some shortcuts that we found through a few laps in multiplayer. In, in single that, player, you start to blink out black once if you've spent you too do. much time yeah. off the track. Yeah. Uh, multiplayer that didn't seem to happen. No, it didn't, and it could have been a good mechanic because uh, we we didn't have any punishment for coming off the road, so we're just taking the tightest possible course we could and and just going at full speed. There's no slowdown for I guess if you run into a wall, you slow down, but the handling's good enough at that speed to just putter around the track, and if you're in front, you win the race. Uh, more details are the customization in character. I quite enjoyed sort of yeah. giving my character eyeballs and <laughs> things hanging off your antennas and colouring my car. All that I didn't see that actually. I, I coloured my guy in like white and black and my car, uh, my cart was white and black. I didn't see the antennas and stuff like that, so that's cool. Yeah, there's a few things to choose from, so you can individualise your character, but whether you can find anyone else online to play with is another thing. Yeah, sure. So yeah. that, that probably sums it all up, would you think? Yeah, I think so. Like, overall, it's it's really impressive visually. And, and it on the surface, it, it looks like it could be a really good title. Um, I, I agree. It looks great. It sounds fine. It it works. But then you jump into multiplayer and we can't even start at the same time. Yeah, just a few fundamental things that I guess... It, it feels like it wouldn't be a huge amount of effort compared to the amount of dev that's already gone in to actually turn it into a good title. So hopefully these guys... Um, viewpoint, I do Viewpoint, believe viewpoint games, yeah. Hopefully hopefully they um, maybe give us another release in the future and, and yeah... Pump that, up the speed a little. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I want some wipeout speeds. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty fast, Adam. Phantom class. Next episode, we'll be discussing Perfect Burger. We'll flip some burgers together. What do you reckon? I haven't played this, but it looks like a blast. Well, we'll see if you can get your new win streak going. You finally topped me with VR carts. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a bit of a hollow victory, unfortunately, <laughs> since I got the green light. A victory a bit, is a victory. A victory is a victory. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, well, that does us for episode eight of the Virtual Review. Thanks for joining us. I'm Grant. I'm Adam. And we'll see you next episode with Perfect Burger. Cheers. See you then. This episode of The Virtual Review was brought to you by Sense Immerse. Immerse your senses in a new reality.